Bratz is at the Truist Culinary and Hospitality Innovation Center learning a few tricks. And Ava, you're starting with ideas for, for fair weather fans. So how do we elevate some of that store-bought stuff to make the starting lineup? That's true. I mean, you can definitely learn a lot of fun things that you can make at home. But, but Chef Bill Twaller is also a big proponent of just buying fun things and making them look pretty. So he joins us today. Thank you so much for preparing this one and getting to share a little bit about some finger food. Yep. Thank you for having us. And, it, you know, it's fun. It's Super Bowl. Theme foods, finger foods, all kinds of different crazy things. You can, Like you said, you can make your own. Like our finger Sonoran hot dogs we made ourselves with puff pastry, pepper, some cheese. Or you can buy a pigs in a blanket already. Hmm. You know, we did a stuffed pepper to kind of represent Arizona since that's where the football, where the Super Bowl is being held. And you can do those little things to make it fun and easy to pick up and grab as you want to walk by. Mm -hmm. You can make it as healthy as you want or unhealthy, I guess, as you want. You know, <laughs> yeah. We can use carrots to dip in the cheese sauce that kind of represents Philadelphia. Or we can use jicama to dip in the chili sauce that represents Kansas City. We can do an all bean chili, meat and bean chili. You know, cheese sauce, mm -hmm. and then a spicy cheese sauce. You can make some nacho, finger nachos if you want to make a little plate of chips and dips. Or, you know, you can have as much fun as you want. Is it a big slider or a big hoagie as a sandwich? Or am I going to do some pickup foods like grab a slider of something, a barbecue slider from mm -hmm. Kansas City, and a, maybe a Philly cheesesteak from Philadelphia? There you go. Well, I think the name of the game as you're kind of, you know, meandering through people's homes, you're talking, you're socializing, you don't want maybe something really heavy right off the bat. So talking about these little sliders and the little poppers, these seem pretty easy to make. Talk about like the prep time. So with the, um, the pigs in a blanket, it's an easy prep time. You mm -hmm. thaw out a piece of puff pastry, you've already got pre-cooked um, little smokies, maybe chop a pepper up. You could use shredded cheese already. We just cut some little pieces of Monterey Jack. Delish. Mm -hmm. Lay it, roll it, wrap it around, bake it in the oven at 400 degrees for like five to 10 minutes mm -hmm. so they get brown and crispy and a little gooey. Mm -hmm. You're good to go. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, and kind of moving over toward this way, these pretzels into this cheese dip. Did you make these pretzels? So we did we did two renditions we actually okay. bought some pretzels the ones that are a little bit lighter color we purchased so you can go to the grocery store or you could go to a local bakery that might be making pretzels and then we made some pretzels we have we just did some pretzel dough it's not difficult mm -hmm. it is a little time consuming it might take a day to do pretzels where you make the dough and let it proof and rise and then we float them in the lye solution or if you're not mm -hmm. comfortable with lye solution you use a baking soda solution mm -hmm. and then we baked them off in the oven uh, so it's a lot of fun you get the kids involved. I always talk about, you know, get the kids out there rolling dough and seeing if they can do the Aunt Annie thing and <laughs> twist a pretzel and bake it off. There you go. But it's, it's just about having a good time, you know. Mm -hmm. There's so many options. I love doing walking tacos or yes. walking nachos. That can be mm -hmm. kind of one of those things that you just kind of pick it up, fill it with whatever you want, mm -hmm. and go eat it while you watch the game. Couldn't ask for anything better. And honestly, we were talking about presentation. It's just so, something that you really enjoy. Now, for those of you who are also inclined to attention to detail, you may notice this is set up in a certain way. But, Chef, for those of us who are still lagging, how did you, des how did you design this? So we, we looked at some things on Instagram and stuff, but we are modeling it after a football stadium. So you have the Kansas City side. And then you have the Philadelphia side. Amazing. So we even talked about, like, these are, this is the press box. This is the stands <laughs> with the, the fans the in it. People. Popper people. <laughs> this could be the light standards where you keep your silverware and napkins. But just sort of, it's all kind of symmetrical, stays together. And, you know, have fun. Why not do a Kansas City um, theme and a Philadelphia theme there and then go. Arizona theme? Perfect. And you make all the fans happy in that way. Plus, you look like you really know what you're doing. So definitely get some inspiration here. We're going to be right back, Margaret, talking about some of those heartier dishes, stick to your bones type stuff if you're cheering your team all the way home. That table is a vision, and I'm just dazzled. I can't wait to see more, Ava. Thank you.